Welcome back to the Daily Dope. Welcome back, welcome back. I know we're recording now. Well, anyway, kind of like uh, out of the studio here. <laughs> and uh, I'm not driving, so don't worry about that. But I just wanted to update this story real quick. Um, I just uh, found out within the last half hour, and I was on the road, so I couldn't really say anything about it then. But apparently, <clears throat> a lot of people have been talking and and that's good that we were talking about it and we were expressing our uh emotions about you know the legislator in lansing trying to take up the uh proposal that the citizen ballot uh initiative um worked effort worked tirelessly for two years um on the ground doing you know what they had to do to get the signatures both times um, and we were hoping that we were not going to get screwed over by the state and the legislator had their chance to, uh, vote that in. Uh, and if they did that, they could have, um, amended it. And of course, uh, since it's a lame duck session, the governor is at the end of his term, as is a lot of, uh, senators and Congress people. So they're, they're all, you know, they were thinking that they were going to, uh, voted in and then maybe amend it or whatever but today was their deadline and they didn't even take the thing up so I'm going to go ahead and read the article and then I'm out of here uh, Michigan voters will decide whether or not to legalize recreational marijuana after the state legislature passed uh, on taking up the issue Michigan lawmakers had until Tuesday June 5th to take up the legislation instead the issue will head to the November ballot Republicans in, Mich in the Michigan legislature were considering preliminary legalization recreational pot, but didn't have enough votes in the House. The Associated Press reports that the Michigan House adjourned without taking up marijuana legalization initiative before a 40-day deadline passed on Tuesday. And really, um, I think what was going on with all this before was uh, you had this, the, the leader of the Senate Mikoff, who was basically the one pushing this idea that they would take this up and they would amend it and and be able to do a lot of damage to the proposal. Um, specifically, they probably would have took out home grows. They would have made it so you had to uh, go ahead and get one of the licenses that are more like their um, medical marijuana facilities licenses that the state uh, uh, legislated into law, which are bigger licenses and way more restrictive licenses. And we've seen the licensing process that they have, and they would more or less apply that licensing process to the recreational marijuana. And we've even heard one of the plans was to just not do anything with the recreational marijuana, except for put a clause in there that said, they had to wait until it was descheduled federally before they would uh, go forward with any of those regulations to regulate, uh, re you know, recreational marijuana for adult use or regulate like alcohol, whatever you want to call it. Um, so it's there. That was basically one guy. It was the, the head of the Senate, Mikoff, and he said he had the votes in the Senate. Who knows? Maybe he did. But he also was just one guy talking to the press <clears throat> and the press was just running with this. And I think that's what ramped up the emotions out there uh, so high among the activist community was that the press was just going with it. They're like, oh yeah, yeah, this is something they could really do. And I think, you know, it was almost as if the press was kind of egging them on or something. So meanwhile, we had our own peanut gallery and we were egging them on the other way. Like, no, don't do this shit, man. This is ridiculous. We're getting sick of working so hard for this and then you guys just take it away you know no way analysts suggest that if recreational marijuana is allowed sales in michigan could exceed nearly one billion a year the proposal calls for legalization or legalizing possession and sale of up to 2.5 ounces of marijuana for recreational use it'd be taxed at 10 percent plus the existing six percent sales tax then it tells you about the tax splits on the revenues. Um, the proposal also allows cities to decide whether they will allow marijuana businesses. Now, from what I understand, they have to opt out as opposed to opting in, which is the way they do it under the current medical marijuana facilities licensing. And what we've seen there is that a lot of people didn't want to opt in. 
A lot of people aren't licensing people on the local level. Even people that had already existing um, businesses in their town, like Davison, Michigan, they had uh, dispensaries there that were operating with, uh, you know, the <clears throat> the blessing of the local municipality, and then now they don't want to do that. So that, that's going on all over the state. There's a lot of municipalities that won't have facilities because of that. Um, and... We'll see what else, what else happens with the medical marijuana, but uh, that's what's going on with uh, recreational. The state is no longer uh, going to be able to do anything except for watch the people vote for this in November. Um, I wasn't driving around in case you guys you know were worried about that. I don't do anything. I'm not crazy. So that's all I got on this. Um, good news, I guess. Like I said, I wasn't really worried about it, but... Like I said, when something like this, when there's a threat of something like this happening, they would like, they would rather just do this kind of thing in the dark when nobody knows what they're doing and nobody knows about it. And that's what, that's how they would like to do a vote like that. Because a lot of these people are up for re-election in November and they, quite frankly, they don't want to, you know, their constituents to think that they, you know, these Republicans legalized marijuana. Um, that's not something you want to run on as a Republican in Michigan. Um, and that's all I got, uh, everybody out there, especially my Michigan people have a nice day and, um, I'll see y'all at the cannabis cup this weekend, man.